What's the one most important thing you can do at the start of any online marketing initiative? Travis Campbell here and I'm glad you're watching this video. You can look in the background and you'll see the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Uh, and if you look behind me, what you'll see is a beautiful sunset. The sun is just coming up and I wanted to, to talk to you today about the sun coming up, the dawn of an online marketing initiative and one of the most important things you can do with that and that is keyword research. The challenge with keyword research is that it's often done uh, in a minimal way or in just a way that you know there's not the level of detail necessary for folks to go forward with confidence that what they've researched and what they've concluded is truly accurate. And uh, I want to talk to you about a product that really helps people uh, get started properly with keyword research, uh, at least in my view, by looking at the appropriate details about whether a keyword or a set of keywords are going to be profitable. Uh, the folks over at Swiss Made Marketing, uh, a gentleman by the name of Shane Malaw, someone that I've uh, gotten acquainted with uh, just recently, actually in the last few weeks of working with his product, has put together a product with he and his team called SE Cockpit. And one of the things that SE Cockpit uh, does is make keyword research really fast and easy. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll notice in the description section just below this video uh, a link to the complete review of Shane's product, SE Cockpit. So I'd encourage you to check that out by following the link. If you're on marketingprofessor.com, uh, you'll see the details below this video about the product, but the highlights are this. A lot of people look at search volume and competition to determine uh, what keywords are relevant for their market. And while in many cases uh, you could get uh, the, a couple of the right keywords in a lot of situations, uh, you know, that you just don't have the data with those two components that you need to go forward in confidence that you have the right keywords. So uh, what SE Cockpit uh, does is it looks at several other factors uh, and it does it all at once. It actually uses um, some of the tools over at SE Moz, uh, if you're familiar with SE Moz, to look at things like um, Google Page Rank and, and the SEO Moz Rank, which they look at, at more frequently and update it more frequently than Google Page Rank does. And it looks at those factors, it looks at uh, ad competition on AdWords, as well as uh, much more accurate traffic estimations for those keywords. One of the things that stood out to me about SE Cockpit was this idea uh, that you have keyword-based projects. And in these projects, you can specify a link tool uh, or methodology of a tool that you're using with a project. So you might be using Linkvana or you might be using Article Ranks or SERP Assist. And when you select the, the, the project's uh, tool, it then will configure a list of tasks uh, for the project so that you can run down the list and the checklist of things that you need to do to uh, effectively configure and set up your site for that project uh, from on-page on ranking uh, factors to off-page ranking factors. Uh, one other thing about the project uh, component of the, of the uh, service, and it is a service. This is not a software that you download on your local PC or Mac. It is in the browser, which is really nice. Uh, I'm leaning more and more uh, toward uh, cloud tools for certain applications. You can specify uh, expenses and income for a keyword. So if you're spending money um, getting using AdWords or you're using a third-party service or you've outsourced components of your site building efforts, those become expenses. And then as revenue comes in in the form of affiliate revenue or sales or conversions that, uh, that you're looking for, those can be added into this expense and income journal for that project. To round it out, I just want to say that um, they do have some bonus training. So uh, while this is a service, uh, it's going to be most effective for those uh, that are either 
getting started uh, or they use they, they create SC uh, search engine projects on a regular basis so um, you're needing to do keyword research because you're introducing new projects into your portfolio of sites on a regular basis or perhaps you're servicing uh, you know consulting uh, clients that need this type of uh, information on a regular basis the bonus video training that I was able to review it helps beginners in fact all the way from the keyword research but picking a domain name uh, to setting up your hosting to uh, configuring WordPress uh, and it goes a review of WordPress plugins it's 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 pretty good detail and it's gonna help folks that are just getting started so in closing you really can't afford to miss out on proper keyword research it's just not about competition and search volume there are other factors that's why I'm one of the reasons I'm so excited about uh, SE cockpit because it provides uh, it, it is a tool that provides that information in a way that I've not seen it uh, before to this detail so when you take the time at the dawn of your business to, or, or online initiative to do keyword research properly down the road you can have a view of your business and your site that looks maybe similar uh, maybe not this beautiful uh, of Colorado and the mountains but you're going to be way further ahead three six nine months down the road with your site because of the keyword research that you did up front well again my name is Travis Campbell speaking to you uh, live here from beautiful sunny uh, Colorado thank you for watching this video and we hope to hear from you real soon and speak to you again on the web